Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-300-J that I just forgot the name of. Oh yeah, our glorious ruler. I have a suspicion that this might be a little bit literal. We'll see. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number SCP-300-J. Object class, shower proof. No, safe. Slash containing procedures. SCP-300-J is to be kept in a locked container in box in storage. Level 2 researchers are permitted to worship. I mean, test SCP-300-J for a site at director discretion. Description SCP 300J is the A omniscient, sentient, magnificent, standard brand, crimson, red plastic ruler of, of the Kingdom of Storage Fox 397E. No. With the supreme gift, anomalous ability to affect all, all mention of its, its raw power existence. No imperfections. Measurement markings are indicated on its divine body surface. It's like you're fighting with yourself to read this. Once a peasant, no human acknowledges its perfection. No existence. Stop this. As if the J will try to convince them that it is a ruler of a of a kingdom. SV300J does this by enlightening, interrupting all forms of human in communication. SV300J's authority, compulsion, is known to be easily overcome, not for long, filth, usually by correcting any statements involving the object. Once morals behold, visual contact is made with SV300J, it will begin to get communicate with observers telepathically, often interrupting thoughts and redirecting them to its presence. Its greatness. No. Stop worshipping the freaking ruler. The following is taken from audio transcriptions, combined with notes transcribed by Dr. Donald during the interview. Good day, your mag uh, SP-300J. Fool! Acknowledge your one and only ruler! I am not worthy of I am not inclined to do that, SCP 300 j Please tell me which kingdom Where do you do hell from Ugh, come on. You wish to know of the king kingdom from which I hail, yet you do not understand that I am the one held. You better get the straight. My rule is beyond measure. Right. That's enough. I think that's enough. Ending for is screw this thing. Ending interview. Tell that damn crown to stop stealing my glory. This is where I'm drawing the line. Give a cry an inch and he thinks is a bloody ruler. Oh god. Right, who is the damn crown? Fifteen sixty one. There's internet, you're full of crap sometimes. Oh my goodness. Well, screw it. Let's go. Kingly item of number. His Majesty's SCP MD 
LXI, no, 1561. Royal Object Class Glorious. Royal Containment Decree, His Majesty's SCP-1561 is currently being and worn by King Data, the expunged within the Kingdom of Sight redacted, as we regard it by at least 10 knights at all times. As His Majesty's SCP, as the Crown possesses a memetic hazard, all information regarding the Royal Crown is limited to level 4 aristocrats and above. Testing His Majesty's Crown is henceforth forbidden. This was the law of the Her Heretic Council before the days of the redacted. See Royal Decree MDLXI I dash I. Or well, I guess I did them wide of this document. Description This crown is a glorious crown wrought by the finest smith and crafted with the most expensive jewels in the land. The object of sorcery is caused when his majesty's crown is spoken, worn, or inscribed about. When bestowed upon the unworthy head of a common male peasant, Governors who aren't within viewing distance shall see the unworthy wearer as the highest authority that they have ever met. These others are born anew when the king is crowned, and those who take upon themselves new roles befitting of their previous stature. Guards become knights, scientists become royal scholars, and other commoners become peasants. Peasants of this rule shall also felt the rightly obligation to fashion robe out of the finest material at hand. Sometimes using their own filthy garments for the new righteous king to wear. The newly crowned king also develops a magnificent sense of ruling, which empowers him to build a royal army of knights and establish his kingdom. The unfortunate wearer shall also grow a glorious beard and mustache better befit his position. These effects wither away from when the royal crown is willingly removed or when the unworthy subject dies. Men who have not directly witnessed the greatness of the royal crown can assist as its resolute list and are to be branded heretics, banished from the land, that way is executed at his majesty's pleasure. Inscriptions in any speech that regard this crown also alter to befit the king's ascended status. Mere knowledge of this crown shall to cause a compulsion and to refer to a crown justly as the name that I'm not saying. It is also worthy to note that in direct reference to the crown negates these effects. Council Degree MDLXII During previous errorless testing upon his majesty's crown, an unworthy D. A. Commoner placed his majesty's SCP MDLXI upon his head and subsequently ruled the kingdom of Sight Redacted for three months before he was beheaded during the Great Revelation. So it was upon that day that the Great Council of O5 decreed that an area of frivolous test shall be undertaken, lest another misfortune fall upon us. Royal Decree MDLXI-I As of last winter, on the day of first snow, a new king was crowned. All hell his majesty, a king that are the expunged. He who fights the shameful crown of Olificates, ruler of the kingdom of sight redacted, long live the king. No, this isn't the official SP report, but it's the best we can do at this point. All research data regarding his majesty, his SCP-1561 was deleted during incident S-1561-2. And this was provided with document 1561-2 until incident. 1561-2 is resolved. This will have to suffice. Dr. Blank. We obviously have the author or authorization in here. Incident. 1561-1. SP-1561 was discovered missing from containment. Security agents in the area uh, on the state from um, 3 to 9 to 7 were found to be erased when the guards assigned to the ships in that area were crushed they became violent and attempted to harm several personnel. All of ones of them could be subdued without use of least or force. But committed suicide immediately after he was interviewed. See interview 1561 and 1. These personnel were 
assumed to be under the influence of SCP-1561. Effective immediately, site redacted is under lockdown until His Majesty, until 1561 is recovered. Update. The issue has been resolved and site redacted has resumed operations. Note. Who authorized this? 05 blank. Sergeant Bob Wright and Sergeant Sam M. White. Which one? I mean, Private Sam White. The following interview took place after Incident N1561-1. Sergeant Bob White was captured. He refused to speak to any person else who against his restraints until his brother, Private It Bob White, was brought in in an attempt to divulge information regarding his uh, regarding 1561. Sam? Sam? It's me! Stop doing that! You're gonna hurt yourself! Bob? Yeah, come on, bro! Get out of it! Step out of it! You know what? You don't know what a relief it is to speak to you, brother! I thought they would have killed you! Who would have killed you? You're not making any sense! Whispering. The heretics, Bob! They're everywhere. The king was right. The king is always right. What heretics? Snap out of it. Do you know where or as much as SB1561 is? Where else, brother? Upon the head of the true king. I myself had witnessed its true, its resolute glory. Soon the whole of this wretched I shall witness its glory as well. You shall see his glory too, and you too shall believe. What do you mean, Bob? Or was it Sam? Where is the royal crown? Who is the true king? You shall know oh, the glory of King Dada the Expunged. <sighs> Come on, Bob. You don't believe all that crap. His Majesty's SCP-1561 is controlling you. Just tell him where the royal crowd is and we can... Pity. What? Pity that I won't be here to see the fall of the Heretic Council. Shouting, looking directly at the security the camera. S. Tempest. I don't know if I want to say it is actually. I don't know. Oh, any Latin. Sorry. You're skipping that. I'm not trying to accidentally summon demons here, you know. End log. Close statement. Sergeant Bob became unresponsive to further questioning from private. It's Sam, who subsequently left. Security footage shows that Sergeant Bob, no, Sergeant Sam, managed to free himself from his restraints and ram his head into the wall several times, causing a fatal concussion. Translation of the broke phrase spoken at the end produced the lines, The time is now! The crusade has begun! Long live the king! The exact purpose of these lines is unknown at this time. Level 5 authorization, authorization required. Document 1561 and 1. The following was faxed to doc or to Director Blank at Site 19. Site redacted. It's compromised. All personnel are under the influence of the Crown. Send help. I'm locked inside central control. Not all of time. Was able to put site on lockdown from here. Skips are safe for now. Unintelligible and to use unintelligible and it's the O5 Lord person unintelligible boiler room unintelligible King Dada the expunged unintelligible down here for months don't don't look direct unintelligible 
run mirrors and uh, video work. They know unintelligible. It's outside. I can see through the monitor. I would destroy the console after I and the unintelligible. Hurry, Doctor Redacted. Incident 15612. Based on the information given in, in document 5611, Site Redacted has been compromised. Most, if not all, personnel of Site Redacted are under the influence of His Majesty. Is SP 1561, which is being used by an unknown person to aid in, a, in an insurgency against the L5 Council. Global Task Force Eta 10, aka Sino Evil, was sent in to recover Area 1561, but was unsuccessful and lost most of, it, of its mem members who are currently being psychologically evaluated. Efforts are to be focused on containing site redacted and prevention of His Majesty's 1561's influence from spreading. Any personnel coming out of site redacted are to be tranquilized and treated with Class C amnestics. With the further notice, personnel are not to approach, attempt to communicate with, and or look directly at the site if it as it poses a mimetic hazard. Update on an unknown date, five months after site redactor was deemed in compromise, document 15612 was found tied to a rabbit along with SCP blank and an SCP report regarding his Majesty's SCP 1561. Document 15612 is a proposed treaty between the L5 Council and the supposed Kingdom of Site Redacted, written by the King himself. The presence of SCP blank and textual evidence seemed to indicate that several less weak containments have been breached. The document was sent to Overseer Headquarters for verification. Greetings, Council. I do hope this letter reaches you in good health, and that you bear no ill will towards my kingdom or its people. I understand you might harbor resentment towards me, but I find that of little consequence. I beseech, I beseech you to try not to think me a tyrant, but as an ally. In the fight against the greater enemy, our shared enemy, what I am and proposing is a tree between our factions. My Kingdom of Sight Redacted will continue in its original capacity and it will agree to receive orders from the Council. And in exchange, you cease all attempts to invade my Kingdom or harm its people. The details can be drawn at a later date, but these terms will be the foundation of our mutual partnership. As a symbol, I have fastened this creature or SV blank along with the document read by my scribes detailing the attributes of my most royal crown. Mind you, not all reports we produce will be written in this manner. It's just an effect my regalia has on my subjects. I shall send a draft of our treaty next winter on the first full moon. Please, do not try to fool me. I shall have many objects of sorcery, and there aren't many a man who would gladly die for me, within and without the kingdom. The most glorious king that I expunged. Ruler of the Kingdom of Sight Redacted. So that was uh, the ruler and a crown that does a very similar effect. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And maybe don't take this seriously because I can't. I don't see you doing that. Anyway, as for what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, that's a mystery! And it always will be. Until then, goodbye!